Welcome, welcome to Chuggy Chogs. Let's play Dungeons and Dragons Online. Our next quest is the final installment in the House P Carnival Chain is under the big top. And we're going to enter this on a normal. So, let's bring in our higher line before it expires. <laughs> it's got five minutes left on us. Alright, so I'm wearing the House P, uh, or I should say the Fjarlin Mirror Cloak. It gives me some nice bonuses. Uh, and I went ahead and spent the money to get the ingredients to make the Signet of the Solar Flame, which is a plus four intelligence, plus four charisma ring with Undead Guard. Undead Guard is uh, 3 to 24 points of good damage on any time I'm hit by an undead enemy, so that's cool. And then basically I just slotted some stuff around, so I had Charisma Goggles, went with Wisdom Goggles. Everything else is about the same, basically. Alright, so let's see if we can get this done here. Um, I'm gonna park this guy, I think. Make sure. Uh, It's a lot of traps in this quest. Uh, mainly, they're near these uh, wheels. The attractions at the entrance appear disturbingly normal. Yeah, this is like a safe spot. Sure. Stuck again. Yeah. Bounce. <laughs> there was an invisible area there. And a little invisible wall. Yeah, it's kind of a got some annoying music in this quest too. I think some people like this music. I'm not really into it. <laughs> Somebody must have liked it for it to be approved. Okay. The High Striker, one of the classic carnival pastimes. Incredible prizes can be won by ringing the bell. For, uh, things here. So let's make sure we have this on. I'm gonna do a s search here. I can't remember. Some of these altars have thing uh, traps on them. So Okay, so we have this high striker. It's basically uh, if you if you get all these to the very top rune lit, um, which is random, uh, it will uh, basically give you an optional. So it's just basically uh, you just gotta keep clicking it until you get it, and it's a very slow, annoying thing. It should be a quicker deal, but it's not. So I don't know if we'll spend a lot of time on this or not, but it is an optional and it's really not that difficult, it's just a matter of pulling it. As soon as you get it to the lit to the top though, I think a bunch of stuff spawns. So it's going up higher, but it's very random. It's like rolling a D6 and trying to get a 6. It will happen eventually and, you know, it should happen one out of every 6 tries, but it doesn't always do that. Although this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's like a D seven. Which do exist. There are, are dice that are D seven. <laughs> we rolled a six that time.
Oh, this is annoying. We'll try it one more try and then we'll mess with something else and come back to it. Yeah. Alright, I got my spot helmet on. The rules upon can... the wheel of ill fortune glow with eerie intent. There's another wheel over there I'm looking at. Let's see, uh, uh there's something that fell out. Alright, and they were detecting something here, so Yeah, okay. I re I seem to remember that being on the nose. This blue wheel of ill fortune seems less dreadful. So the wheels basically have runes similar to the other quests. Uh, that's an X. These wheels have the top one being the one that's activated, so you just turn this over and it's on the X. If you don't disable the trap, there's some really nasty uh, zappy zap traps. The eldritch power of the wheel of ill fortune dissipates, rendering the wheel inert. Oh, this is just... These things are just terrible. They should have it where the the top crystal is like a 25% chance or something. Not a 1 in 7. Or It's more like a, the lower ones are always light up, you know, but as it gets to the top ones, it's going to be less, lesser, lesser of a chance. So, uh, so it's probably more like a 1. It's, it's probably rolling a 20 on a 1d20, really. It's probably about that rare, a little five percent shot. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Yay for optionals! Woohoo! Yay! I don't remember ever taking this many tries though. It's not strength based either. It's just random. Hey, there we go. There we go, these guys spawn way too late. Sick him. Sick him, Larithor. <laughs> you, you do get XP for it, though. I don't know if there's one for every single one of these high striggers, if it's just you just have to do one. I, I think there are more. Later on in the quest, but anyway, let's just keep on going. Yeah. Oh, spot in danger, spot in danger. Oh, spot in danger. It's inside. Ooh, what's this? Yeah. There's a lot of invisible walls in here, like you just can't get around. Yeah. So it's basically it's a one directional quest, you know, as far as all that stuff's concerned. Trying to go for the Sears. Oh. A high striker game stands waiting for a true strong man to ring the bell. So we were detecting a trap somewhere around here. Let's go see. Oop. It's a master illusionist. He was no Jim Dark Magic. All right, so let's get this and this. And... Actually, we don't really need that anymore. Can't target it though. There it goes. The green wheel of ill fortune no longer seems as unfriendly. 
Alright, so that means we've disabled the trap on this, but we don't know what the, the rune is for it yet, so we'll have to go find that. Oops, there's something there. I'm just looking around, make sure we didn't miss anything. So we have a green and a yellow wheel. I'm spotting danger here. I don't even know if we need a search. I mean, our search seems to be able to s search fine even without the item. The major threat posed by this yellow wheel of ill fortune has been neutralized. So the yellow and the blue. <laughs> Laggy. I think you used to you used to be able to go up here and then block this off. There used to be a way you could get on top of this somehow. So you remember, and then we, you were able to pull the wheel and without having to do the trap, some some trick. They they did adjust a lot of little tricky spots in this. So the yellow is the red star, green is the white triangle. Oh, we got it first try. Wow. Get ready to fight, Larithor. Good job. Good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> Alright, let's give myself a heal, and we'll... Um... Let's turn to the red. And die me, Larithor! I'm just gonna leave him on attack mode and see if he'll come to my aid this time. There he goes. You get him, Larithor. You just run right past them all and. Tear him up like that. <laughs> he, was, he was bluffing them. They were like, what the heck was that? He just ran past them all. No reason to run to the end zone if you don't have the football, Arathor. Yeah. Sorry, man. We got a portal here. It's a baby portal! Look at that baby, it's so cute! Little baby portal! So, anyway, uh. My shrine. I don't see anything else over here, so we're gonna move on. Dun, 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 hey, it's a performing hellhound. These guys actually can actually blind you, so because that that sphere can blow up. Oh, 
I'm gonna heck of a time killing this darn thing. Alright, it's like a, it's like a boss or something. <laughs> Let's keep shooting at him, just take, taking minimal damage. Larithor fell over here. I'll park him again. Hopefully, he's still. still. Who can resist the challenge of ringing the High Striker bell? I can't resist it. Ah. Oh. I can resist if it doesn't land on it, though. <laughs> but eventually, I'm gonna have to do it anyway. It's it's just for the optional, you know. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Get him, Larithor. Get him. They're gonna pop out any second. Ooh! They can trip you and they can stun you. Guys can be very, very painful if you're not. You the basically just keep moving or have some decent armor class to avoid them. Larith are getting rid of that poison on me. Good job, man. Let me heal if you don't mind. Thank you. Alright, so now we have a, we have a uh, what looks to be like a pinkish red. Color uh, rune wheel here. Betwixt the piteous cries for help coming from the cages, you hear a smooth, almost friendly voice calling you over to simply talk. Let's keep checking for any more. Optional goodies up here. Spot in danger. It's inside. That's an invisible wall there. This is a uh, orange wheel. And we have a control panel to disable. All kinds of good stuff to this do. This yellow wheel of ill fortune has been rendered less threatening. The yellow one's the one we have to worry about. But this guy's got a job for us. Let's see what he has here. He's got people that are stuck in here. Can't talk apparently. Mazel Tilnik. Greetings, mortal. I am Mazel Tilnik, Tiefling and Devil of Shabra, the plane of battle. Enjoying your day at the carnival, I hope. Not particularly. <laughs> uh, clever, very clever. I like that. Clearly, you are here to kill us all. <laughs> I have something to tell you that you may not be aware of. Not all of us Tieflings want to be here on Ebron today. <laughs> Many, including myself, were drafted to serve a more powerful force, very one. Uh, you hope to kill. Let me be clear. I don't want to be here. And you don't want me here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, let's take it. Let's 
so basically, you know, we can open a port. Can't open a portal for you, Chief. Uh, so what happens if you say? <laughs> uh, we'll help him out. We'll help him out because if you do it this way, you get a chest, and I don't think you get a chest if you kill him. I, I think that's how that works. He doesn't want to be here. I can understand that. Sometimes you just don't want to be somewhere, someplace. You got other plans. You got other, other things you want to do. You know? Alright, so we gotta... The nearby red wheel of ill fortune seems somewhat less powerful. Oh, Lareth or Asimov on these guys. Actually jump me off, didn't it? I thought there would be an invisible wall there. Oh well, we'll run back around. Probably trying to get another one of these on anyway. You know there's a sprint boost you can get as a, a ranger. I don't know if I'll get it, but it uh, you know, maybe once I get everything else unlocked and I've got a few extra points, maybe if it works out, maybe we'll get that. No. The chests look like that little one there, but they're actually bigger ones. Ooh, moss. I'm never getting that. So we get those three things that he's looking for and then we'll be able to uh, get a portal and a chest out of the deal. So again, there's like a little baby one there, it's not a full size one. To my A, Larithor. <laughs> oh, I want to get that guy there. Illusionist. Always get the caster first if you can, right? Get him, Larithor. Get him. Good job. <laughs> got smacked in the back of the head of Larithor's mace. Alright, we got another piece. Last one here. Oh, 
Alright. Get the caster, get the caster. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm getting out of here, but first, here's your reward. Alright. So we're detecting danger. We have a blue one as well. Sorry. Right. So the orange and pinky purple one. That's not red. It looks like a pink purple color. So that's a square and that's a circle. So the blue one probably doesn't do anything. At least right now. See, that's a different color. That's red. The orange one is... They're saying over their head. All right, so he's a happy guy. Right? See you later, dude. Thanks to the goodies. Impressive trophy out of that one. So we basically banished the devil, which is that's fine. You know, send him back to where he came from. Don't have to fight him. And there wasn't a wheel up there, was there? the uh, empty chest. So, alright, so we have a blue wheel there. And see, I still think that's a different color. Um, did we go all the way up on top of this one? I think we did. There's just a chest up there, nothing else. Let's go down here. Always being thorough, make sure we find every possible way. about halfway through this rank. Oh, there's a trap here. There is a purple wheel. A whiff of dog musk and singed fur wafts on the air. The red wheel of ill fortune seems less deadly than moments ago. This was a square if I remember correctly. You're ready. They always pop out when you do this. Unless I got it wrong. Which I could have. But, we'll go back and check it. Like I said, my red and their red might be two different reds. That one says purple. The other one said red. The other one had a darker pinky red. This one is like a purpley color. So. But we can always come back to that in a second. We'll do this part, whatever this is. Ooh, man. Got knocked into that guy. I was trying to target that guy, get like an angle to target him, and then he ended up getting pushed around. 
Oh well. Is there nothing else here? I'm gonna kinda go behind the curtains, it's not funny. Uh, alrighty. So, as far as I know, purple's right, but I'll double check because it's been a while since I <laughs> looked at the purple indicator. But I think we got it. Yep. Yeah, looks like it is, right? But since we uh, disabled the red one, I wonder. I wonder if we get uh, any points for killing stuff that comes out of the red one. And I want to just double check, make sure we got everything else that was just done over here. Yeah, looks like it. I want to just give it a pull and see what happens. Nothing really, huh? I've been noticing they've been using cold damage on me and I just haven't buffed myself for it as well. Okay. Going the wrong way now. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> the blue one doesn't have a indicator either yet, so we'll just wait and See if there's one that we need for that. Oh, sure, man. Ooh, punks. Ooh. Music is really annoying. This isn't like one of the original quests. I mean, this is kind of, like, eh. I guess now it's considered what update eight or thereabouts. So it's, it's still a pretty old one. Um, because we're at, I think, update 24 at this point in the game. This is pretty interesting here. The three outhouses are marked Men's, Women's, and Warforged. I don't know which direction it goes. I just assumed it was going left or right. <laughs> Attack! Oh, caster. Pick that one. Oh, don't run up there. No, 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 no. Come here. <laughs> He's gonna get hit. He ran up there and then she died, or I destroyed the undead, whatever, and then he was like, oh, I'll just park myself here. Troubadour's Boneyard.
doesn't look like we have anything here. Sometimes it's a rare here. There's like three different options uh, in this uh, quest before you get to the end. And we did one of them, which was the devil uh, guy where you send him back to his plane and you get a chest and he releases the prisoners. So I don't know if we'll get the other two, but that was one of the other two. And I think the other one's already, we already passed it as well, so. So I don't think either of the other ones are up. back on don't do anything but I, I'm not sure if this trap up here is, has any way of disarming it but I figured I'd go over here and do a search and see if there's anything here. I know there's at least breakables so we'll get those. So a lot of this stuff is uh, invisible. Oh, we had lag there. I thought that was an invisible wall, but yeah, a lot of stuff has got invisible walls. Ready but that's actually just lag. The servers supposedly came down for some maintenance uh, today when I saw on the, the post like earlier today. I got on later in the afternoon, so not sure. I guess I guess they did that maintenance. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> it's like, that was a little bit of an emergency there. I was getting stunned and hypnotized and stuff. Alright. I still haven't even checked to see if that thing's trapped. If it has a trap uh, box, you can disable it or not. That one wheel that keeps sounding off. Just because I've been shooting so much crap here and <laughs> I haven't had a chance to check. I want to make sure I clear it all out first and uh, then deal with that. Okay, so let's park our buddy. Turn him on, say, defense mode for now. Just in case uh, he gets himself hurt over there, he can at least fight back. Alright, nothing back here. I don't think there's a way to disarm that, so we'll just leave it be. Oh, this, 
Oh, this one's like broken. <laughs> it's taking forever to reset. Wow. Yay, Larithor, we're so awesome. Got it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go all the way to the end area, clear it out, and then we'll go back. And there's a shrine. I think that's all we gotta do, and then we'll be ready for the end fight. Hopefully, An we'll survive the end. Unnatural quiet permeates the top of the man-made tableau. The man-made tableau. Tableau. Let's see how we're doing. A on contingent our of Fialan agents stands near the only open entrance into the tent. Their leader watches you expectantly. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything back here, guys. So we're gonna jump off this if it'll let me, and we'll go use the shrine that's just down the way. Then we'll get shrined up and get buffed up. So what I'm probably gonna do is have Leothor. Um, hit me with his divine vitalities, and then that way I can buff him up once he gets done shrining. And he'll use a shrine, and I'll uh, get my goodies on and get ready for shrining. Um, hmm. Like so. Alright. I'll use the shrine. Why don't you use the bathroom uh, there, Larithor? Relieve yourself while I'm shrining here. <laughs> I am Warforge. No, you're not. You're a drow. Alright, now it's my turn to buff up. So when I. These are five minute buffs, so they're probably about the same length as everything else. And real quick, let's see if we have anything else we can do on there. That looks good. That looks good. Alright. This on. This. This. I can throw some BBs on me. And we will run to the end. We're getting there. This should, I would say, be really close to capping us. Yeah, it's 4200. We might be able to squeeze in one more quest, but I don't know. We may have to take a level. If we succeed, that is. There's a lot of critters to fight in this. That's why I have Ice Storm cookies with me. I figure those will help out. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Whatever. Take up positions. All right, so all these guys are gonna go in, and we're gonna go fight Malicia and her. Uh, in the low light of the big top, you can goons. make out Yule de Fialin's form. Ooh, what's this? She and her Dimension infiltrator anchor. stand ready to do violence. Dimension door and teleport may not work here. Oh no! All right, so let's uh. For now, let's just bring him. I want to bring him like maybe here, one over here, and then we'll park him. Obviously, I gotta wait for this cooldown. This stupid cooldown. Yeah. 
put him on defense mode, but I want to kind of keep him right there. I'm ready to attack. And we'll get ready here. So we've got these guys all kind of scattered about. Kind of charmed, a bunch of charmed peoples. Oh, look, it's Malicia. Go ahead and buff my guy up with this rage while they're doing that talky talk. This old guy will mess up a couple more of these. Probably gonna need them. Come on, hit me with Lara, throw that stuff again. These buffs are running out. He's like, oh yeah, I got you, man, I got you, don't you worry. Cool, I get to kill all these people's twos. Hey, Yule, how's it going? Yeah, they're taking ice damage and bludgeon damage, that's good stuff. We used to actually pull her back here into this corner and fight her. I don't know if it still works or not, but well, she's when she turns red like that, you really can't do much damage to her. But the ice storm is still doing damage to her, as you can see, which is kind of cool. You guys are safe. You're safe. You're all safe. So we we did this actually quickly enough where some of these people are still <laughs> charmed, you know, because it's on normal, so it was a little easier than uh, usually on like elite. It's you know you'll have the waves and all these people come out and. There's usually at least three chests on Epic, I think, plus the, the Epic chest, so you get like a really good chance of getting some uh, shards and things. Anyway, that was done, and we have oh, a little less than 4,000 to go. Might want to take a level now. Good thing I'm not using my Tome of Learning, because I would really be behind. <laughs> I would have so many quest to do right now. <laughs> I'm going to use that Tome of Learning later on when it when I actually need it. Uh, right now it's, just, it's going to be overkill for XP. Cerise, what do you have for me? Okay, so we got uh, Crappity Crab. Fire absorption 10% of Hammer Crappity Crab. Okay, we'll take a Heroic Teeth. Alrighty, and 
thank you, thank you. All right, so now that we're done, the whole chain, we're going to run over to uh, Rouge. Rougey Rouge. Uh, we'll find her over here. <laughs> uh, is that really the end of the Maleficent Cabal? The work is done, and you may rest. Shortly all that will remain of the Maleficent Cabal will be an urban ed or be urban legend. It's not like an urban legend would be a little bit more appropriate, I think. For your part in this, I show my gratitude. Now this list is not bad, and what's cool about this list is you can actually get things from Korthos. There's a couple quest chains like that. They'll throw in some Korthos items, so it's not a big deal to run the Korthos chains. Obviously, they're pretty easy and quick to run at higher levels. Uh, but you know, if you didn't want to go back and do those, you could obviously pull some nice things out of here. All right, so what do we have? We have a bound to account. Wand of Magic Missiles that actually only has 38 charges and then it's gone. So it's not a rechargeable type. And we have a pull strength wand that's bound to account, which is silly. Uh, we have the Sharpshooter Goggles, which we already have in the bank because we had those originally to support those. The Ring of Elemental Essence is nice if you're a caster, but we're really not a caster. Yeah, Anger's Gift Utility Vest is really, really nice. Uh, disabled Device and Open Lock. And armor class is about the same, but we won't get an armor check penalty, and we'll get open lock five, which we don't have anything for that right now. And we want to keep switching our gloves on. The only problem is we're going to lose death block if we wear it, so that's kind of a concern. This full play of the ringleaders, honestly, kind of, yeah. I mean, it's heavy, heavy armor, so even for heavy armor, it's not the best. Uh, and the battered Fjarlin shield, acid guard. Let's see, it's got Acid Guard 2, Absorb Elemental Enchantments. Or, I'm sorry, in Absorb Enchantments. Um, so the effect absorbs most enchantment based spells. So those are like uh, crowd control, you know, so we cast like Sleep or Charm, things like that. But it won't absorb like damage spells. So it looks cool, but it's, eh, it's alright. You know, it's certainly. You know, a nice item, but it's not a great item. I think the utility vest is the way to go, so we'll take that. And then we can repeat this and get that set up so that we can, you know, repeat and run that again if we need to. And we'll lock this down. We'll put this on so you guys can see what it looks like. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I'll wear it right now, but it is a really nice item that we probably will be wearing. And it looks. Probably so far it looks the best out of anything we've gotten. It has a little grappling hook, a little like uh, toolkit on the back. And it's got a little hood. I mean, it looks roguey, you know. It has like knee pads and you know little pouches on his legs and stuff. So it looks like a like a rogue would be wearing something like this, a rangery rogue type character. So you know, I may go with it for now. We'll see. As long as we're not, if we can find some kind of death block item, that'd be the way to go. But anyway, that was the uh, House P Carnival Chain, and I think what we got next is taking a level, honestly, and then and then uh, and then we're gonna go from there because you can see we've got a lot of green, and there's still a couple of reds left. We got all these bottom ones, or I mean, so a couple of reds, left, a couple of five, uh, level fives left. Uh, there's that dyslexia coming into play. All right, so we got uh, tomb, 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 tomb. Yeah, when I see the number five, I think of R. I've always, since I was a kid. Uh, so when I see, like, oh, level level red, like, level R, like, no, it's level five. It just, it's just dyslexia. Right. <laughs> the mystery of the uh, Delirious Tomb, Deadly Package, Deadly Package. These two I'd like to do, get them out of the way. But we, once we start those, we're going to have to take it on to the next, you know, part of the chain. Delirious is something that... I wouldn't mind running, but it's a lot of XP, and so I'm gonna wait until the next level at least, and then take it when we can do some of the other Delirious quest closer to level. So I'm guessing we'll probably pick up with these next, and then run these, and then we'll 
start with the Dolores and maybe we'll run some level 6 stuff too in between there. And we're going to start getting less and less quests per level, generally speaking. Uh, you can see there's not a lot of level 7s, so hopefully being above level right now, we'll, it'll eventually catch up and kind of balance out. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go level up, and I'll catch you guys later on.